Oh no, sad music. Three, two. Welcome back to Peak Plays. Here we are playing Final Fantasy V, the Pixel Remaster. We're in a cave. Galoof is pretty upset. We got a submarine. Uh, so let's get to it. Galoof, no one could have survived that blast. We have to wait just a little bit longer. A minute more. Okay. Well, oh, if I walk away. See. <gasps> Final Fantasy V said the naughty word about butts. Z had always trying to play the hero even to the end. I mean, he kind of succeeded. Back in the boat. With the submarine, we might be able to find Guido's sunken cave. Sure beats swimming. Oh, Lena, you're alive again. How's he holding up? He'll be all right. He just needs a little rest. Understood. Well, we better get moving. <laughs> I like how he operated the submarine by going, ah! Galoof is a sad man. He's a sad man with a beard. He's got unruly hair. He's the ruler of a kingdom on another planet. Well, looks like I can explore all I want. What? Not that direction. <laughs> There's just some Islandios. Just, oh man, it looks like we don't get in random encounters down here, which is nice. Um, huh. I am almost certain I had an episode where I just, in, in the first time I did FF5, where I just floated around. Pretty sure. Anything in here? Hello? No. No. Um, well, they say that we can find um, Guido's uh, sunken super palace. Um, which... That seems like a warm, neighborly thing to do. Okay. I don't know if there's going to be any more... Ca like, sunken cave areas for me, though. Probablemente no. It appears there is no more... It was over on this side. I guess I could be looking... This, this is not really a complaint. I was gonna start this sentence with "It is a bit. Of, it is a bit of a bummer," and I guess that by, by that I just mean like, oh, I would have had fun if there were lots of like undersea locations. Not not necessarily that it's like bad, but it's like, oh, well, you got all this terrain, you know, might as well do something cool with it. Uh, we are over so far. Zaba Okay. So sunken life would have been some ooh. What are this? Oh, but you know what? I kinda don't wanna go there yet. I wanna go. How do I surface? Oh, here I am! Beautiful. I wonder if there's places I can get to now. Any, well, there's a cave. Can't really get in there, can I? You know what, though? 
Maybe there's a way to like surface up in there. I promise I have not. Che Ooh. Okay, that's something. Here we go. Wait, let me. Did it reset me? It didn't. I mean, I I figured. Well. Rest a while. Sleep in this uncomfortable chair. I said uncomfortable. Not a word. Ha! Okay. Did that heal me all the way? I believe it did. Cave. Iron back. These are some nasty looking boys. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, my car. Oh, s strange brangin. Um, let's try that. See what that does. Uh, maybe not that much. Lena is not gonna take another hit. Oof. Well, that did nothing. So did that. This is bad. We are outclassed here. Dead. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I'm out of... Uh... Okay, we gotta run. Time to run. Run, 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 run. We, we cannot defeat these guys at all. And we just spent a bunch of cash to do it. Okay. Um, I think the main problem with that was we got attacked from behind. Um, that's a tough battle, but one we could win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can I use Animal Town? Let's go back to Animal Town. I don't want to. I don't want to be tempted to spend all my money. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we got now. Okay, this is a little bit more manageable. Ouch! Holy Jenkins! Bees! Well, the bees missed. Man, this iron back is just... Oh, well, you did a magnet, and it didn't do anything. Oh, Petey, no! Man, and he's not susceptible to, like, anything. Okay, we got him. Level halved. That's a bummer. We gotta get rid of this druid. He's like in his little robe looking like a like a very small Emperor Palpatine. Nightingale, heal my life. That's better. Man, this guy is pretty beefy for a druid. Not anymore. Ha ha ha. What do we got here? I mean, some good experience, some good AVP, but not worth it. That's probably not where we're supposed to go yet. C B Z B Z O. That's my like go-to scat sound. Not scat as in like scatological, but scat like zip zap na ba doo ba dow. That that kind of thing. Okay, so we've got that. Well, maybe that's just the way to get there. Um, what I think we're gonna do then is go back to Castle Surgate. And uh, take advantage of 
buying these things that I think we can afford now. Boy, I spent a lot of cash on that. Cash. Is it down here? Here we go. What can I do for you? Great sword. It's a great sword. Got that heavy lance. Okay. Oh. It's for ninjas. That's for warriors. Okay, so we've got some... Some of those. We've got a lot of shields. Oh, she's not wearing the wizard's hat because she has the um, gold hair pin. Okay, so we're good on armor. Well, no. You know what I've been forgetting? I have Comet. That's a that's a big boy spell. That's a spell for big boys. Oh, I hurt all over. Was the attack of the barrier tower successful? Oh, dang it! I shouldn't. I should have been there. If only I hadn't been wounded. The king is dead. Oh. Yeah, I'm the king now, baby. Yeah, that's not right now. Okay, well, I got some stuff. I must remember to equip. Good, got that poison axe. Oh, you know what? Equip. better weapons, but... Feels like... Where's my dragon? I think we've lost my, my dragon. It's probably somewhere over by the castle. Oh, I'm receiving a phone call, and I think this is important. One second! Ooh, sorry about that. I, I uh... Got a phone call from me doctor's office. Um, I got an appointment in a little bit and the nurse called me because uh, she said, well, there's about a bazillion people getting appointments and only one of me, so I thought I'd try to get some of these done early. And I was like, you know what, let's do it. Um, and I'm not seeing anything. Maybe that is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I should just go. Maybe I should just go to uh, Kranji Bonjo's super underwater beauty land and uh, <laughs> and just get that done. Hello, anything over here? No. Okay. Boy, am I glad there's no random encounters down here. That would be absolutely bad. Okay, well, that seems like the thing to do, so let's go ahead and do it. Do it. Here we are. Here we are, beauty bar. Yeah, I think we're okay. Let's go. Guido's cave. Oh, well, we gotta fight things, Diggaby Biggie. Those are some of my favorite words. <laughs> what? 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 What just happened? What just... Oof! Oof! Let's comment this boy. Flying squirrel! The monster is distracted. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Love me that comment. I wish it didn't quite cost as much, but... That should do it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. This this seems a little bit more like a, a reasonable place to go. And they were like, no, we can go to Gritos. So. I like these guys. Do they take just normal... 
damage. I do like that Nightingale move quite a bit. That's a big chunk of healing. That's like 1,300 healing. Yo! Galoof! Galoof is ready to go! Uh, I wish I understood what that meant or did. Nice! PD mastered aim. Okay, so PD can use aim whenever he wants, which is kind of cool. Um, let's get our find passages here real quick. Any passages to be seen? I'm not up here, so. Huh. Okay, I thought maybe, like, if I... Like, I had to switch out of it to get to see the passages. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I gotta, like have the ability right at the start. Okay, well, if it's empty. This one has a big stone inside. Okay. Okay. Metamorph. Ooh, I bet this guy can turn into cool stuff. Nice healing. Didn't really need it, but got a little bit of it. Sword dance. Yo! Transform! Thanks! He turned into a cat who loves us. Oh, well, that didn't work. Oh, I see. That is from the... Ow! Revert! Okay. I have this one spot on my back that just always itches. It just always has an itchy spot. I don't like it. Ha! Did he do that to himself? What the heck? What is going on here? Give me more animals. The monster is distracted. Don't know what that does. Boy, this guy has so many hit points. Transform! I'm really tired of this. I want to be... Now he's a... Now he's a frog! He's an elf toad! Hit him with an arrow. Now he's gone. Okay, good. No experience for that. That is so weak. Ugh. Brutal, brutal, brutal. What does this do? Okay, that's probably good. Probably auto through these. It's not too bad. But honestly, if I'm going to auto through them, I want to... There we go. I want to get animal power. Falcon! Ooh, that, that was cool. Not going to lie, the animal powers are fun. And they're not ineffective, right? They, they do some decent stuff. Can I get... I think I can get over there to that door. Okay, let's put... Let's put the stone in a different box. Go to the door. Preemptive. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. Yo, let's go. So we definitely have a, a team that's like just a real wild card. Uh, just a bunch of wild cards. And honestly, it's fun. This is, I could... I could put together a team right now that was just straight up bruisers. But I think I've found a little bit of an equilibrium here for like fun and damage. Um Nope, oh, the Falcon missed. Transform! I did it again! Oh, I got my video visit link. 
for my doctor's appointment. What's up here? A hot load of nothing. Don't go that way. Find the old man transforming into a oh, bees. Dude, we hit him with bees and it did 420 damage. That rules. What are you now? Oh, you're Shiva. Am I gonna get your summon? That's a new one. That's just a normal squirrel. Nice. Bees! More bees. Fighting the bees. Bees! I got no experience or money for that battle. Gee, many Christmas. Oh, yes, I do want to take the stone. Putting the stone in the box. Oh, that one. Putting the flying squirrels are arrived. Are arrived. Have arrived. Nightingale. Yeah, I feel like the um. The animals are a decent little power right now. Um, I think if it would be tougher if we were running into like some really nasty boys. I don't. Oh, this is gonna be this one. Doesn't go anywhere. If we were running into some really really nasty boys, I don't know that this loadout would be the most effective. But what for what we're doing right now, it's pretty decent. It's pretty fun. Yeah, get out of here. And then I will tempt you with my tango. And he will slime himself. He's slimed. He's distracted. There we go. Oh, I got that. Okay. Now this one is open. All right, we've explored everything. Our good friend Metamorph is back. Did some more bees, did some more swords. Transform! What are you now? Back to Toadorino. Ah, oh, man! Revert! Ah, oh, he gave me the toad power. Ah, oh, jinkies. So okay, I'll just tempt him. Haha, -ha, and he will punch himself. <laughs> yeah, zibby 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 all right, we gotta turn my guy back. You know what? Oh man, we are out of some mountain? No, it's me, it's kids. We are out of Phoenix Dam. And that's a problemo. I wish I had bought them. Columbus. Yeah, the the ranger animal skill is honestly a sort of why did he cast shell on me? It's honestly a sort of like I mean it is a bit of a novelty, but it's a fun little rando buff. Um and the nightingale healing move is kind of clutch right now. Um because while you're just sort of moving around and grinding and not running into anything particularly nasty. It just saves you all the healing magic you would have to use. You don't have to go back into the menus. So, I think it would be harder if we were fighting a 
bunch of enemies. Like, not even necessarily harder enemies, but like more than two. Um, I, I don't think I've run into a formation of more than two. Um, ah, come on. And I think if I did, that would be a little bit more tricky. But, uh, because most of my attacks, at least for auto, are, um... I guess I gotta go into here. Hello? What? Aha! There was a secret pantage that I've got to go into. Gotta keep an eye on the clock here, just because I've got that appointment with my doctor. It's it's an it's a telehealth appointment, which I I like. And I mean it's it's for my like it's a psych appointment, so I'm not going for like oh, my lungs are broken, or oh, I have COVID, or like, oh, I'm bleeding or something. Because like, obviously, sometimes the doctor needs to see your body, right? That seems pretty reasonable. Um, but other times, especially when we were just talking about my mind, um, a telehealth appointment is really cool. I feel like it's probably easier for the doctor. It's certainly easier for me. Um, so... Seems like a good, uh, seems like overall like a good thing, right? I have friends who are doctors. A uh, friend of the show, uh, Patrick, is a doctor, as is the lovely spouse of friend of the show, Patrick, uh, Becca. Um, and I would, of course, be really interested in hearing, like, what actual doctors have to say, but... I it seems reasonable to say, like, hey, there's some things that you can, like, that you can, you would see a doctor for that are totally cool to see them uh, on the video. And it also makes sense to say, like, that's probably, like, easier for doctors? Or maybe take some of the complication out? Like, I don't know. Does a video visit go faster? You do have the sort of like, uh-oh, you know, the technology or whatever. But barring that, I don't know. There's probably just, like, less stuff to do. My my only concern would be, does that put more pressure on healthcare providers to see more people? Which, look, doctors seeing more people is good in, in that, like, Lots of people need to be seen by doctors because doctors are really important. But also, like, we need more doctors and we need doctors to be able to spend... Boy, this is a long cave. We need doctors to be able to spend more time with each individual patient and that means they need to be seeing fewer patients per day and we need to dramatically increase the number of qualified, caring doctors that there are to do these sorts of things. But given all, all that, like, it seems like, hey... video visit. Doctor gets to sit in their little chair. You get to talk to him. You get your questions answered. There's not a lot of waiting around. I don't know. Seems like a good thing. This has been Pete Play's commentary on the uh, modern American healthcare apparatus. <laughs> uh, everybody's doing their best. Be, uh, be nice to people. Everybody's trying real hard. I, uh, I think a good rule of thumb is everybody's trying pretty hard. And I think when there's somebody who isn't trying pretty hard, it's because they're just, they're just frustrated because it's hard to try hard for a real long time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's the alarm I set to make sure that I remembered my telehealth epquat mild. I think I, that seems like a bit of a non sequitur, but I, what I mean is just like, when we talk about things like, how do we make healthcare better? 
one of the things we should be remembering is... Whoa! It's Ifrit! One of the things we should be remembering is... Most people are trying pretty hard. I know there is a... Ouch! Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I know there is a, a, a sort of trope about how, like, certain kinds of doctors are just in it for the money, um, and, uh, I, you know, I have friends who are doctors who tell me, like, oh, nephrologists are like this, and, like, surgeons are like this, and in general that seems to be, like, trends that make sense. But also, I think, I think you would have to be, like, a just a monster level sociopath to just be like, I got into healthcare, but I don't care about the outcome of my patients, right? Like, uh. anyway, I don't know where this came from. It's a, it's about me, but I'm gonna go ahead and quick save here. Nope, I'm gonna quick save here and uh, call it because I gotta go to my doctor's appointment and we've done some good things. We went through a cave, we traveled around on the ocean floor uh, pretty grindy this episode, to be honest, and we don't have a lot of experience or money to show for it, but we certainly do have a lot of ABP, um, which stands for Awesome Battle Points. Ability Battle Points? Ab ability Points. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you on the next episode of B-Plays. Bye.